and the birthday day continues for the birthday boy, the brash, the brazen, Sean's View Entertainment, where I will never be mistaken or overtaken. Remember to send my videos all over Facebook and Twitter. Tell your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends. Tell your family. Tell everyone you know about the brash and the brazen. Huge epic updates on the Royal Rumble. Breaking news on CM Punk in WWE and the Royal Rumble. We got all the late breaking details. Also, what top star suffered a concussion recently? And are they going to have to take time off? Are they going to have to take a sabbatical? Are they going to have to take a break? Also, viewers, fans, and subscribers, an unexpected name is slated for SmackDown tonight. Also, we got major return. Braun Strowman shows off gym progress while recovering from injury. Ric Flair drops a special T-shirt after the Dojo Cat ballot song appearance. And again, ladies and gentlemen, what John Cena will be doing tonight on WWE SmackDown is being unveiled. He is, and again, creative change can plans. Plans can change. Plans can go in a different direction. Things can always change. But as it concerns John Cena tonight, it looks like he will be in action. Also, the WWE's latest cuts. Ladies and gentlemen, we got breaking news on more cuts coming in. In a surprising turn of events, WWE's bid farewell to several talents as part of its recent roster releases. These departures span across various divisions of the, of the company, including the main roster, WWE NXT, and the WWE Performance Center. The list of related individuals was as follows. And as they explore new opportunities in the world of professional wrestling, fans will undoubtedly follow their journeys with the new talent going elsewhere. Now, these unexpected departures have left fans in the wrestling community speculating about the reasons behind these releases and the potential future endeavors of these former WWE talents. Also, there's rumors and news that other talents are going to be let go in the next few weeks, if not the next couple of months in the WWE. Also, Gail Kim suffers a concussion at Impact 1000. Hopefully, Gail Kim is going to be okay as she is one of the greatest women in the, div in the uh, women's division in professional wrestling. Also, one WWE department, what department, who is going to be safe from the WWE firing spree, all the cuts that are happening in WWE? There were no cuts on the public relations side. So wrestlers and athletes, girls and gals, they weren't safe, but the public relations, they're fine and good. Also, ladies and gentlemen, what led to the WWE talent releases after Endeavor's acquisition? Also, Vince McMahon has suggested that Mansoor should be losing weight during his run with the WWE. Also, is LA Knight set to get buried on the main roster? And yes, we are going to get to the CM Punk update. Major update on CM Punk and the Royal Rumble. LA Knight's unintentional heel promo confusion draws Triple H's attention. And I guess something happened between there of several months ago. And, uh, you know, LA Knight and the reaction, it just didn't go over the way that people were thinking it was going to get over. Also, Shawn Michaels is raising an eyebrow with liking an anti Stephen McMahon post. Also, what is the future of Jay Uso on Monday Night Raw? Breaking news on Monday Night Raw during this very, very video, guys. According to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, Jay Uso is now being positioned as the new face of WWE Raw on the network poster. So you're going to wonder now, Cody Rhodes, I thought he was the face. I thought he was the main guy. You thought Seth Rollins was the main guy. Becky Lynch and now Jay Uso is being primed and positioned as the number one. Also, a lot of rumors and speculation now that the WWE has all these releases. Something good has to get happen. There has to be a major turnaround. Well, according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, there is hope. Again, this is not confirmed, but there is hope that Stephanie McMahon and Shane McMahon will return in some way, shape, or form to WWE to hopefully get things back together to where they need to be. But again, Stephanie left. Shane left. Shane went down with an injury at WrestleMania. Again, there is a hope that they could come back, but it is not confirmed at this time, which is a very sad state of his. Would you want to see Shane McMahon and Steph McMahon return to WWE? And just what power would they be in with this TKO dealing? Also, ladies and gentlemen, as it concerns CM Punk, he is now, and according to those in the know, the 2024 Royal Rumble event has a lot of attention and the location is already locked in. Now the winner of the big match is a topic of conversation as it will be for a while. CM Punk's exit from AEW was not, the, was not his decision. He didn't walk out because he was fired after allegedly sucker punching Jack Perry during a backstage confrontation. Now it is being reported by OLGB and by way of Ringside News. CM Punk is actually one of the most likely winners of the 2024 Royal Rumble match. It was stated that his exit from AEW put him atop that list of the most likely winners. CM Punk is a new addition to the booking list for the 2024 Royal Rumble after being dramatically fired by Tony Khan in the AEW earlier this month. 
with odds of 10 to 1, Punk is at the top five favorites to win the Royal Rumble match next year. Ladies and gentlemen, Ringside News exclusively reported in June that WWE has decided on the winner of the 2024 Men's Royal Rumble. This goes, goes along with the report that CM Punk looks like he's going to be returning. The Royal Rumble match will be directly going on to influence WrestleMania's booking. And this is going to mark the 40th anniversary of WrestleMania. It appears that the company is certainly keeping odd makers busy in the process. Now, what do you think is going to happen, Those So Punk got himself purposely fired so he can rejoin the WWE. That is some snake business, as someone said online. Uh, also, viewers, you're operating based under the assumption that WWE is actually in interested in signing him. Are they going to do that? you got to see what's going on. Even though Punk is toxic pain in the butt backstage, he does draw and people will buy tickets. WWE will watch him very close and he better realize that according to those in the know and comments online. So ladies and gentlemen, your thoughts, your comments. Do you want to see CM Punk return at WWE, win the Royal Rumble, and go on to headline the main event WrestleMania, something CM Punk has never done in his career. He has never headlined and main evented a WrestleMania. Is this the time for CM Punk? Click that bell, subscribe, more to come, plenty more to come on the birthday of Sean's View. Look at you. Later.